let me tell you whether you like it or not our customers are copy copy yes that's how fashion business is you're not the only one that has god you can't put god in your pocket <laughs> everybody has god in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you how you can get ahead of other fashion designers and fashion businesses in just six months it's challenging but guys i want to tell you it is achievable in six months Stick to the end of this video and get all the strategies and ideas I have for you. Before we go into the core of the video, I want to inform you guys that my group mentorship is about to kick start on the 30th of November. Yes, all fashion designers and tailors who are new or struggling in their fashion design business, I have put together this mentorship for you. Sign up for the program and come and find solution to the current fashion business challenges you're facing. How to find customers, how to keep customers, how to price your products and services, where to find tailors and how to keep the tailors. Come join the group and together we will brainstorm solutions to your fashion business challenges. Don't be left out, okay? Click the link pinned in the comment section or in the description box it will bring you straight into my WhatsApp where you can chat with me and ask me all the questions you have concerning the program. I'll be there to answer you. And of course, sign you up for the program. My name is Glory Pendra Akban, GPA. Welcome to the channel. So, how do you get ahead of other fashion designers and other fashion brands in six months? Number one thing is you sabi so. Can you sew? Are your clothes good enough? Are your clothes good quality? Your production has to be of greater quality than the already existing fashion designers or tailors you want to get ahead of. Good products market themselves. Good products make noise about themselves. A good product will bring you lots of customers. I always say every satisfied customer is a walking billboard because they wear your clothes. Anywhere they go, they wear your clothes. People see them and be like, hmm, I like what you're wearing. <laughs> I like how you look. Who made this clothes for you? And they'll be like, I made my dress with Pendra or with Nkechi Couture or with Mary Collections, you know. And that way you'll be able to attract more customers into your business. And the more customers are coming to your business, the more cash flows into your business. And the most, more cash flows into your business, the more profits you make. And the more profit you make, you can reinvest into the business and pump things or push things up. Okay? So check the quality of your sewing. Are you good enough? Are there new techniques out there and you don't know how to do them or it looks strange, alien to you? I would suggest you go for an upgrade. Sign up for an upgrade. There are lots of online classes right now and even free contents here on YouTube. Sign up for them and up your game. Tighten your sewing skills and you have a chance of getting ahead of other fashion brands in Nigeria. Number two, which is kind of a sub of number one, is stay up to date with the current fashion trend yes so the corsets that we were sewing four years ago is not the same kind of corset we're sewing now there are new ways to sew your corsets now we have learned better ways to snatch that waist and make it very tiny and give our clients the hourglass figure eight shape do you know how to do this dance let me tell you whether you like it or not our customers are copy copy yes that's how fashion business is copy copy majority of people want to wear what is trendy i made this mistake during the early days of my ready to wear business i will go and create my own design make it very unique something that i've never been seen before and i'll produce 10 pieces and maybe only one will be sold or maybe none at all none will be sold and i'll be wondering what's going on here i put in so much time to create this you know i put in so much time to you know come up with something unique never before seen my sister and my brother my customers like what is trendy they want to wear trendy things so follow the trend okay in your collection you can incorporate two to three unique pieces that have never been seen before created by you the one that when you were sleeping god gave you your dream that one you can include two to three pieces of them in your collection but the rest my dear try to keep it trendy but once it looks like what others are wearing people are most likely gonna buy yours of course i'm not saying you should copy here 
Okay, I'm saying what is in trend, follow the trend, produce trendy things, and you start a chance of getting ahead in your fashion business. Number three, build a strong portfolio or put together a lookbook. Put together a lookbook showcasing your best work. Put your heart, your soul, and build this collection and make a lookbook. The presentation of your work has to be top notch. How can you beat people who are excellent when you yourself, you don't know what excellence is, okay? You have to inculcate the spirit of excellence, not perfection, no. Excellence, if you're a Christian, the spirit of God in you is already the spirit of excellence. You have it in you, so bring it out and showcase it, okay? Use social media. Pay for, you know, pay magazines to showcase your lookbook. Make noise about yourself. Because who is going to make noise about you? Look at it now. All the big fashion designers and brands out there, would you know, have known about them and their talents, their uniqueness, and what they can deliver if they were not putting it in your faces? When they are recruiting, they recruit the best tailors. When they are recruiting their front, front testers, they go for the best. They recruit only the best. And they don't joke with trainings. They train their workers. They train their staffs. They want the best always because they are all about excellence. Babe, you're not going to beat them or get ahead of them if you do not have the spirit of excellence in you and you're not bringing it out. Bring forth your excellence. Show your work. Show your best work. Make noise about yourself, your business, your brand, your uniqueness and your talent. If you want to pay for ads, pay for ads. If you want to pay bloggers, please do. In fact, do these things. Let people see as soon as it is known by people, especially the right people, that there is a unique talent like you out there. They will do the rest of the work for you. They are the ones that will blow your trumpet and take you to places that you yourself did not know you could get to. This brings me to number four. You have to be confident. You have to be confident in yourself. This is one of the first things we tackle in my fashion business mentorship program, which you're going to be signing up for, right? Right? Okay. There, I'm going to teach you how you can make a mindset shift. Become the confident you. Never second guess yourself. Never ever. In this fashion business, oh, let me tell you what I suffered. When I come up with a design, especially a unique one, I always tell myself, will people buy? Will people like this thing? Oh, will this go? I'll just be so worried about my own creativity, my own talents. You know, I'll be second guessing and doubting myself. My brothers and sisters, that's not the way to get ahead of. Be confident in what you deliver, especially when you know that you have you know, thoroughly put in excellence into this work. Be confident in yourself. Never second guess yourself. When you have a new idea, my dear, implement it at the speed of light. If you do not, that same idea that God has given you, the other people who are your competitors, God, so they give them idea. Uh -huh, you're not the only one that has God. You can't put God in your pocket. <laughs> Everybody has God. So when God gives you an idea and you do not run with it at the speed of light, you do not implement, it's gone. Somebody else will implement it. And by the time you want to delete down, delete down and implement your own, you are now the copy cartoon. You are now the copy copy because you did not act fast. You did not work on your confidence. You did not work on your mindset that when an idea comes, it's good and you must execute it. Please and please. This is one thing that will not allow people to reach their full potential. Don't allow the devil rob you of your shine. Please make sure you do not ever lack confidence in yourself your talents your skills and abilities number five specialize please by specialization i mean niche down okay don't cater to everybody you do not need to position yourself to solve all the clothing needs or clothing problems find your strengths and niche down there this is one thing we are going to be tackling in our mentorship program I'm going to be guiding you to discovering your strength so that you can niche down there. There is no need to be struggling to sew corset. The corset is not for you. If you know that you're good with casuals, cheap dresses, kimono, palazzo trousers, those easy breezy things that people can wear casually, 
my sister that is your strength just stay there in the casual wear niche not everybody has muscle to do luxury wears not everybody has what it takes to handle laces and sew a lace dress very well find your strength and niche down there if that is the area of your strength you're most likely to get ahead of other people who are in business because it's already your strength right you're going to be finding it easier than trying to deal with things that are bigger than you must everybody sew blazer must everybody make jackets if that is not your strength leave it go and do the ones you find interesting focus there everybody will know you as a casual wear brand or know you as a bridal wear brand or know you as a shwebi you know bespoke brand and they would always come to you when they need your services there are brands that do only trousers they don't do anything else. There are brands that do only t-shirts. They don't do anything else. Are you telling me that those brands are not staying profitable? They are. How do I know? They've been in business for more than 10 years. They've been in business for more than five years. So my sister and my brothers, if you want to get ahead, find your strengths and niche down there. If you need guidance in this, sign up for the mentorship program. I'm here for you. Number six, network connect with other fashion designers and tailors we are living in a world of man no man it's not a nigerian problem it's global in fact it's not a problem it's the way of life imagine that you know the right person eh what do people say they say that like you're like two steps away from meeting the person you want to meet two people two people away from meeting that person you want to truly meet that will probably be the helper that will launch you to your breakthrough or your next level but if you're on your own if you're an island always in your shop you don't know your other fashion designers and tailors in your communities or you are too competitive unhealthy competition you are fighting with every fashion designer and tailor who is going to connect you who is going to link you up who is going to hook you up join design communities attend industry events this is fashion week period, right? Everybody's going to be different countries, states, you know, communities are going to be having fashion events this period towards the end of the year like this. Go out and network, go out and meet people. Even joining my mentorship program, the group mentorship program we're about to have is another way of networking because there are going to be hundreds of other people in that class or in the group. Then you can start networking with people. One person can bring a solution. You can bring the other person's solution. You know, doors of opportunities will begin to open. Number eight, develop soft skills. Develop soft skills like problem solving. Very important as a business owner. You must know how to solve problems. Develop soft skills like good communication. How would you communicate with your staff, tailors, and your customers if you're not communicating rightly? So you have to go and learn communication learn teamwork a lot of people like to be man alone my idea my idea my idea you don't even give room for your tailors and other part member of your team to even contribute ideas make suggestions and also help you think of solutions to the fashion business problems you're experiencing right so you have to learn to work as a team learn how to use social media it's called digital marketing now, if you have enough money, you can outsource this to a media company. You know, you can have a social media manager manage this aspect for you. But I know most of you watching me do not have that kind of money. Your business is not, have not gotten to that level or that is not structured it that way. You can take a free course on Google Skillshop and learn digital marketing and implement these things into your business. See, to succeed in fashion design business, you have to understand the business side of things. It's not every day cut and so cut and so. How are you making money? Are you profitable? Are you able to reach a wider network or a wider market? How are you distributing your product and services? Learn digital marketing. And finally, number eight, please stay inspired and maintain a positive attitude. This will help keep your creativity flowing. Okay, follow fashion blogs. Follow the kind of designers you look up to be. Follow them. Stay inspired. Watch what they do, how they do it, you know, and learn a thing or two. Get into nature. Appreciate the work of God. Love to appreciate nice things, especially when they are unique. You know, train your eyes to see beauty where others do not see beauty. Forgive people easily. 
love people easily do not be so quick to find faults in people especially your staff <laughs> right just keep everything free in your chest you know keep it out of your chest so that good things can flow in like unique ideas strategies you know informations and things that will help push your business to the next level i wish you all the best i want you to succeed in your fashion business there is room for all of us if all of us fly up like this in the sky our wings will not touch each other if they say everybody in nigeria is good in fashion business they are succeeding the worst that will happen is that we'll become the fashion capital of the world. The rest of the world will come down. We'll make all the money and in hard currency and indeed, you know now, Nigerian fashion styling, we are number one globally. If you're a new tailor or fashion designer or you're one who is struggling in your business, sign up for the group mentorship happening on the 20th of November. Don't miss out. Hit the link right now pinned in the comment section or in the description box and come and register for the program, okay? So at this point, I had no idea that my mic had gone off, but really, I have already shared all the eight points previously. This is just me trying to make the outro to end this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.